Hey everybody, this is Brent Boyer from Adam. I want to talk to you about how to avoid losing your house in a divorce. Um, first of all, there's nothing saying that you have to lose your house if you get divorced or that you have to move out or that you should move out or any of those kind of things. So I want to get that out of the way right from step one. There's nothing saying that if you have kids, for example, that your wife automatically gets the house or the person who has custody automatically gets the house, not how it works. So normally in a divorce case, there's gonna be three options if you own a house together and you're getting divorced. Um, one would be you keep the house. The second option would be your wife keeps the house. The third option would be that you sell the house and split the proceeds. And the timing of when those would happen can vary, it doesn't necessarily go hand in hand with the timing of your divorce case. So if you're looking at those three scenarios, so the first scenario would be you would keep your house. Regardless of what's going on with everything else in the divorce case, if that's the plan, you would do that. So how that would work is you would buy out your wife from the value of the home. So you'd look at what's the house worth, how much do you owe, what kind of equity do you have. So for example, let's say you have a house that's worth $200,000, you owe one hundred and eighty. dollars you got 20,000 in equity. So if there's nothing else to divide up, you got 20,000 equity. That means you keep the house, you owe your wife 10,000. That's in a simple form how that would work as far as a house. So there's nothing saying you have to lose the house just because you're getting divorced. You're only looking at having to pay your wife her half of the equity in the divorce case. If your wife is planning to keep the house or the plan is for her to keep the house, same thing applies. She keeps it, she buys you out from the equity and you move on. Under a third scenario, of course, you divide up the proceeds after you sell the house and everybody, you know, you get your half, your wife gets her half, and you go forward. Now, there can be other complications, of course. You have to look at who's on the mortgage, who's on the debt. You don't want to be agreeing to let your wife keep a house when both of you are on the mortgage and then come to find out there's no way to get your name off of the mortgage. So that's another consideration with getting divorced, what to do with the house, what not to do. Um, we give advice all the time about whether you should move out, not move out. In general, it's a good plan to not be moving out of your house um, at the beginning stages of a divorce case, especially if you have minor children, and that can get into, of course, a whole nother discussion. But in general, nothing saying you have to lose your house just because you're getting divorced. Nothing saying you have to give up your house if you're gonna agree to have your wife get custody. Those things are really are not related to each other. So what goes on with the house is just like any other asset in your divorce case, what to do with retirement accounts, what to do with vehicles, what to do with savings, investments, boats, RVs, whatever it might be. In general, you're looking at what the two of you can agree on and what's gonna be reasonable and fair. Thanks.